Welcome to your favorite channel, Kids by TV, for kids and by kids. I am Junior TV anchor Vivan Goyal. During this COVID-19 pandemic, we've seen courage, dedication, and selfless service being displayed by all the health and frontline workers, including doctors, nurses, healthcare, and other staff. As students, we have all been at our homes wondering what we as kids can do to fight COVID-19. Artificial Intelligence COVID Warrior Contest is a golden opportunity for you as a student to participate and make a difference. To tell you more, we have with us Sir Ramana Prasad. He is the Chairman of Robotics USA and India, Chairman Play Learn Foundation, and the Chairman of AI School of India and AI World School. Welcome to Kids by TV, sir. Thank you for joining us today. It is an honor to interview you. Thank you, Vivan. Uh, it was such a nice introduction by you. Uh, and I'm so happy to see uh, young kids like you anchoring uh, a TV program. So you, very exciting. Thank you. So, sir, you have been wearing multiple hats right through your career and life. And children have played an integral role in everything you have done. What really inspires you? I studied at the IIT Madras many, many years ago. And one of the things I noticed in my batch was that most of us had come from very humble backgrounds. And today, thanks to an education from a premier institution like IIT, all my batchmates are doing, have done extremely well for themselves and have brought a lot of laurels to our country. So this is something which I realized, though it may sound cliche, a cliche, that education plays a very, very important role. So when I came back from the US to India, the one of my goals was to make sure that we give an education which brings out the creativity and the innovation of children. But we see all around us kids are under pressure. It's more like a pressure cooker type of an education, writing exams. But this does not really take us much forward. Can we do something which is more creative and help not only schools, but also help school students to come up with very interesting options? Yes, sir. You can't learn by rote learning. Right. So artificial intelligence is the latest buzzword of our generation. Can you please simplify and help us understand what AI is really about? In the simplest of words, artificial intelligence is the ability of computers to think and act like humans. This is an interdisciplinary science involving computers to typically perform actions that require which are done by human beings. So whether you have a camera and you are able to see something, can you understand what is the image which the camera is viewing? Or if it is a sound, can you typically try to understand what that sound means? We know if we hear a tiger roar, it's a tiger. Can we make a computer understand that? So this is what typically artificial intelligence does. Like one of the best examples which I had read was that in the Amazon forest, which is so large, there are a lot of people who were felling trees. So, and it's impossible to find out at which part of the Amazon forest these people are cutting down trees. So what a group of people did was they took these old mobile phones and put them up on top of trees and spread it across the Amazon forest. And in case the phone picks up a sound, that sound is transmitted to a central command center, where through the uh, use of artificial intelligence, 
that sound is determined to be a saw you know which is an electric saw cutting down a tree or it's an animal or it is some other natural saw then they can immediately send a team to go and investigate to the nearest global position in the gps system so this way it helps human beings to take care of nature in a very simple manner there are thousands of such examples where ai is today saving people in um, healthcare in medicine in sports in music in arts it's a huge field i hope i was able to convey it in the simplest of words yes so ai just saves lives so can you please tell us about the artificial intelligence covid warrior contest and why did you think about launching this contest so covid 19 came upon us during the month of march 2020 and completely took the whole world by surprise this pandemic has brought a lot of disease and has caused a lot of hardship to human beings not only in india but around the world so we were thinking that as you rightly said that you were sitting on at home what can students do they have so much of ideas in their thoughts in their minds how can we help them come up with some solution we said can they learn a little bit about ai and come up with artificial intelligence ideas innovation which can help the world to defeat or combat covid 19 so this was the main purpose of this contest so this contest goes from ages 7 all the way up to the ages of 18 so this is meant for students of schools to come up with innovative ideas to combat covid 19 there are millions of ideas and we hope that uh, we will get a lot of in uh, innovation which we will put it up on the youtube i'm sure the entire world will be watching all these um, the student uh, videos and you know and this will help the students also yes so so students from which grades can register in this contest so students from grade 3 onwards grade 3 and upwards up, up to grade 12 can register as a team two students to a team and you know they could be a student can be from mumbai and another student can be from chennai or there can be two students from the same school it's open but we want to get a team or a collaboration between two people to come up with an idea and they can also get a teacher to mentor or a parent to mentor and they can come up with their own innovation and packaging it in a nice way of a presentation so that they will also learn presentation skills wow so it's basically about teamwork and how can you defeat using ai and teamwork that's right so are there any registration charges to participate absolutely zero this entire contest is for free so there is no hidden cost and the, the students can register comfortably we will provide them with all the background resources even the software which we have is also available for free um, we also have a non coding track there are many students from arts and music background who do, who may not be very good in coding they can also come up with ai solutions so this is not only a coding competition but it is also about non coding or without code so this is going to attract a large variety of students the only underlying thing is they must use artificial intelligence so can you explain more about the two categories that students can participate in with coding and without coding yes so when it comes to coding um, we have two softwares which we have which we have recommended typically to use one is a block based coding which is scratch which is known by all the students this is uh, basically built by mit in boston and uh, we have developed some ai extensions uh, 14 of them which the students can use and these extensions the i mean the students can build all sorts of their own innovations the other is for students who are in the in the higher grades they can use python and they can also build their own programs using python python is more a real world software whereas a block based is more for the younger children the students who do not want to go into the coding track 
you know, they can do sketch, they can do doodle, they can uh, do, you know, I mean, something like play acting, like show and tell, like, you know, or they can do anything. But th their idea, if it uses AI, they can easily achieve the same object. So we have the with coding track and without coding track. So students can use. So a student who is, I mean, can participate in both the tracks. That is also permitted. Wow, that's really amazing. 14 extensions. It's really amazing. So, sir, our student viewers must be very eager to know about the prizes. Can you tell us more about what students can expect to win? So, we have um, 12 lap, uh, laptops to be won. We have 12 tabs to be won. Um, we have um, an AI uh, virtual driverless car course also to be won. We have many multiple courses which are just going to be given away free. We have a bunch of uh, ebooks available from the United States. It talks about the basics of artificial intelligence also to give away. We also have the system uh, book which talks about computational thinking to be given away for the younger kids free of cost. So we are going to come up with more prizes. Um, there is also a company which is making uh, hand sanitizers, uh, which is known as Bactovi. They are planning to also give away things. So I think there's going to be a lot of prizes. So I, uh, I think that it's going to be very exciting for uh, kids to, to get it. We have a lot of consolation prizes also. It is not just a, uh, the top one, two, three teams win, but also a lot of consolation prizes because we want to encourage children to think innovatively. Even I'm really excited to get my hands on one of those prizes now. <laughs> so, so are there awards for schools and teacher mentors as well? Absolutely. We, we also are planning to give away awards to teacher mentors because we want teachers to also become a partner in the whole thing. And, you know, the students will get excited when they work with their school teachers and come up with new ideas. So, and the schools which they represent will feel very proud that you know their student has won this competition or their student has won this competition. So uh, there are going to be awards for uh, schools, there are going to be awards for teacher mentors. So I think both of them are, uh, it's all part and parcel of the entire of the week. Wow, so there is awards for everyone. So Absolutely. your contest initiative must have attracted many partners to associate and join hands. Can you tell us more? Absolutely. So uh, our first partner which we got was the IIT Madras uh, um, Robert Bosch Center for uh, Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. They have offered to give four internships this summer at the Robert Bosch uh, Data Science and AI this summer, you know, for the summer vacation. So that is something which is very, very uh, premium in its uh, approach because, you know, the, the, the students, but it's mostly meant for students in grade 9 to 12 because, you know, it is when the computer science and its applications will be more understood by the students. We have um, also a company called Marsview, who is an AI related company who are giving away a few laptops. I already mentioned uh, Cavin Care whose product back to me is going to be available to the students. We have a company called Ready AI from the US who are giving the eBooks on uh, artificial intelligence. And you know this will go to students uh, from grade three to five. And then we have Robotics USA and India, which is also giving away the My System book. So, and, and other than that, we have um, just heard that Azure knowledge from Ahmedabad is planning to also give internship there into data analytics using artificial intelligence. So we, we, uh, we hope to, uh, to have students going there in Ahmedabad to also learn about analytics during the winter vacation or summer vacation. We are just working out the more details along with them. Wow, that's really amazing. We also have the CS Patishala group uh, which is very heavily involved in computer science and they are planning to come up with uh, with the jury and or the judges and you know who will go through the whole um, you know I mean who should get the first prize so they will be guiding us and supporting us at this point of time data quest is a computer science uh, magazine uh, 
based out of uh, Delhi and they have also agreed to support us with uh, judges. So we, we're getting people from across India and you know who are willing to support us and we hope in the coming weeks more and more people will be jumping the bad market. All are interested to give benefit to the students. Yes. And uh, what is the website for students to register and participate? So the website is aischoolofindia.com and if you, if you go to the website aischoolofindia.com, the AI COVID warrior contest appears as a tab there. You just have to click it and the, um, the landing page has got all the details and of uh, the contest, the prizes and how to register. And once a student uh, or a team of two people register in our uh, landing page, they will immediately get a mail which has got a link to uh, a Google uh, uh, Drive. And we have many, many resources of how AI is helping us to um, uh, fight COVID-19. So all these resources have been pooled as knowledge for the students to uh, use it as a reference. We have um, um, many videos. We have access link to the uh, Scratch for AI extension. So it is more than 14, 15 different type of resources are made available to help the students. And in case students want to also talk to us, we are available on phone. We can also guide them and their uh, teacher mentor. And, you know, but however, we do not want to influence the students. We want it to be their own project. They should feel um, proud of their project. We can guide, we can support them. Yes, that's really amazing. So many, you know, videos and all to watch. That's Amazing. And so what is the contest submission deadline? The, the current contest submission deadline is 30th of June. So, um, so today we are uh, maybe about uh, another 15 days more. So there are a lot of students has plenty of time. And it just takes a couple of minutes for you to register, not more than that. So I think all you have to do is first get a team together, register, and then you have a lot more time to to, the, to do the preparation. Yes, so I am really excited for this and it's an amazing contest. So do you plan to organize more such events or contests in the future? Absolutely. They, they are using artificial intelligence. We plan to run very regular competitions for students. And you know we are completely only focused on school students and we don't go beyond schools. So we'll be out there with more ideas. And uh, you would welcome students to come back and check us out for uh, all the uh, all the contests we will be having. Yes, sir. So, can you please share your words of advice for all the young students out there wanting to make a difference to our society? The the first and foremost thing is students should not hesitate and say, "What can I do?" I think everybody must make and you know must come and participate. It's a question of making an attempt, and it is not about winning the competition, it is about taking part in the competition. It is the excitement of working along with your friend or cousin or somebody else and getting guidance from your teachers, working late in the evening, trying to put together a beautiful uh, presentation to the jury. And, you know, asking your parents for help, getting guidance from everybody. I think that process is more important than just the winning alone. So my request to all the students is, please take part. Do not hesitate. Nobody is going to say this is better, this is not better. We are not here to judge. I think, you know, more students take part. There's going to be more innovation, more ideas coming out. So I think that is the only piece of advice is unleash your creativity, unleash your innovation. Don't inhibit yourself. So I think, you know, be positive and I think, you know, it will work. It will work. Yes. The knowledge is the most important part, having fun, not winning. So it was wonderful catching up with you. I hope you enjoyed our little interaction too. Yes, Vivan, I think it was uh, fantastic. 
I mean, once again, I'm so excited to see somebody from grade seven conducting such a wonderful interview. And, you know, I, I feel really proud to see the younger generation of Indians doing so well. So, Thank I you. congratulate. Thank you. Thank you. We now wrap this Kids by TV special bulletin. Don't forget to download the Kids Byte app on Google Play Store for more updates on the AI COVID Warrior Contest guidelines. I am definitely participating in this contest too, and I hope you do too. This is Vivan Goyal signing off. Stay home and stay safe.